What is up, guys? Python here, back with another video. And today it is our favorite time of the year where I get to inaccurately predict every single thing in the 2022 NHL playoffs. So, yeah, this is just my prediction, my opinion of what I think is going to happen. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section. So be sure to comment your predictions. This is just solely mine. And this year I did it a bit differently myself. I decided to do a little bit more analytically driven where in years past, it's just me sitting here guessing. So how I broke the numbers down uh, before we get in there, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. So I looked at what kind of criteria it needs to be. So I broke down the penalty kill. And the way that I really did this is your penalty kill has to be in a certain range. Your power play percentage, goals for per game, goals against per game, point percentage, and then shots against per game. All of them need to be in a certain range to fit the criteria of who is going to go far in the playoffs. And then I also looked at the post trade deadline records, because usually it's a known thing that if your team is hotter going into the playoffs, then that surely that's going to surely that's going to help your chances. But if you look at last year, the Tampa Bay Lightning were actually seven and ten post trade deadline. So that is something of no I didn't look at 2020, of course, just because of the fact that you know, it doesn't really matter there. The teams were hot before the pause, including my New York Rangers, of course, but who weren't who didn't even make the playoffs. But yeah, so I dated it back to 2015 Chicago Blackhawks. I feel like that was enough of a sample size, but Tampa Bay is an outlier. So every once in a while you had an outliers in some of these, like the penalty kill percentage. You, every team has been the top 15, but in 2017, the Pittsburgh Penguins were 20th in penalty kill. You had your outliers in power plays also usually every team was within the top 15 pretty much except the chicago blackhawks in 2015 who were 20th so there are certain outliers in some of these so i kind of did if you're a little bit of an outlier here in the criteria then you'd still have a chance to make it to what i did the final cut which i have a couple of teams here of who i might pick to win the cup this year but if you don't fit that criteria sorry you're not going to win the cup so this is kind of just going with both my gut and also going with analytics and how I think that, you know, based on years prior, this is going to go down. But let's not waste any more time before we do jump into it. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you do enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. So, yeah, and then turn notifications on as well. So let's just dive into the action here. So here we go. We, how do I want to, let's go to the West Coast. So, by the way, for teams that fit in the criteria, I have, let's see, I have seven teams that fit within the criteria here of that could win the cup. And uh, I will say, we're going to start out West. One of those teams that does fit within the criteria, obviously, as you expect, is the Colorado Avalanche. And there's no doubt I'm picking them to win over the Nashville Predators. The Nashville Predators just don't have at all really anything going for them. And honestly, this could be a series that ends very quickly. Nashville doesn't have UC Soros, which is something that maybe would have dragged the series out longer. But the fact that Soros is not going to be playing, there's no way Nashville beats the Colorado Avalanche in my mind. But we've seen crazier things. The Columbus Blue Jackets, of course, sweeping the President Trophy winning Tampa Bay Lightning. So anything could happen in the playoffs. But in my mind, I don't see any way the Colorado Avalanche are going to lose. So I have them winning that series. The Wild and Blues, this is unfair that this is a first-round matchup because this is tough. One of these teams, I will say, does fit the criteria where the other one does not. However, there is... I really like to look at goaltending and teams that are hotter in the playoffs. If we're going based, you know, based on my gut here, I really do want to pick one team over the other. But I'm kind of being swayed towards the other way because the Minnesota Wild have been extremely good since the trade deadline. Their record since the deadline, they are 16 and 4. The St. Louis Blues since the deadline, though, 15 and 6. So you have two extremely good teams. You have Marc Andre Fleury in goal for the Wild, which is like swaying me so much to go there. But the St. Louis Blues fit the criteria. And honestly, I'm going to go with the Blues. Their forward depth and their defensive depth, I feel like, just outmatch the Wild. But it won't surprise me if the Wild win. This is easily the toughest series to predict. This could go either way. 
So I'm going to go with St. Louis. I'm just going to go with both the criteria. And I feel like my gut, my gut is really weighing more towards St. Louis either way. So that's where I'm going to go with that series. So wild fan, wild fans, I'm sorry. Don't get too mad. It, this was a tough series to predict. With that being said, let's go to Calgary and Dallas. We're not going to waste time here. We're going to pick the Calgary Flames. Daryl Sutter being behind the bench is a huge factor. Jacob Markstrom being uh, being in goal is a huge factor. I just feel like the Calgary Flames have every single advantage. Jake Ottinger might steal a few games, but the Dallas Stars, in my mind, are just not it. In terms of records since the deadline, they are pretty comparable. The Flames being 12-8, and 8, the Stars being 12-9. and 9. But at the same time, you have to look at different circumstances here. The Calgary Flames clinched a while ago. So they were, you know, benching more guys towards the end of the season. So they might have racked up a few extra losses there where the Dallas Stars are fighting to maybe play a certain team that they want or fighting to maybe crawl into second or third for a while. So different circumstances there. I'm going to go with the Calgary Flames. I'm not going to waste too much time talking about that. And with this series, Edmonton and LA, this is something that in my mind, Honestly, it's not as easy to predict as people might say. When you're looking at who you probably want to pick, it's the Edmonton Oilers. However, something is telling me with the LA Kings veteran leadership of some of the guys that have been there with Kopitar, Brown, Quick, of course, something want is telling me maybe to pick the Kings, but I, I'm, I'm still going to go with the Oilers. I'm still going to go with the Oilers because... I don't know. I just feel like they are going to. Part of me just has a feeling. I, I just can't see them losing with McDavid and Dreisaitl in the first round again. I just can't see it. And the Kings kind of just snuck into the playoffs at the end of the day. So I'm going to go with my prediction here. And I'm going to go with the Oilers. So now we got to predict each game for the first round here in the West. In terms of the Avalanche and the Predators. I want to go sweep, but it never happened. So we're going to go with the gentleman sweep here and go with five games for the Avalanche. Blues and Wild, this one I think goes the distance. I could see it going six games just because, you know, anytime usually series you think might go the distance, most of the time they end up going to seven either way. I'm going to go with that as my prediction. With the Flames and Stars, this one I feel like is going to be a bit closer I think this one's going to be six games. I think that's going to be six game series. I see Ottinger stealing a couple games. Plus the Stars line with Pavelski, Hint, and Robertson. I feel like that they're going to be able to help them win a couple games here and there. And then for the Oilers and Kings, uh, I'm going to go six with this one. I'm going to go six with that one as well. I think I feel good about those picks there with the West. With that being said, let's go to the East before I do my second round predictions here in the West. Uh, the Florida Panthers and the Washington Capitals. We're not going to waste time. It's going to be the Florida Panthers. They are one of the teams in the criteria that I have here. The Washington Capitals, yeah, they've been 7-8 since the trade deadline. And they, yeah, they had over 100 points, but they honestly did sneak in. Goaltending, not there. Defense, not there. Their offense hasn't been that great their power play percentage i'm pretty sure is towards the bottom of the league if i'm not mistaken yeah 23rd in the league on the power play not that you get a lot of power plays in the playoffs but when you do get those opportunities you need to capitalize on them i i gotta go with the panthers here lightning and leafs i am going with the lightning and it's not just because of the memes of the toronto maple leafs being chokers I'm going with the Lightning just because they've been there. You have Vasilevsky in goal, and honestly, Jack Campbell's not been it. Jack Campbell's not been it in goal for the Maple Leafs. If you look at post-deadline, though, both teams, the Maple Leafs actually have an absurd amount of wins. They are 15-5 and five since the trade deadline. Tampa Bay is 12-8. and eight. So if you look at that, you might be thinking, okay, well, maybe I should go with the Maple Leafs, right? However, if you do look at some of the other numbers, like the penalty kill, like the power play percentage, goals against, shots against, goals against and shots against, Tampa Bay Lightning are miles ahead of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I have to go with 
the Lightning here. I just have to go with them. Could I maybe see the Leafs winning the series? Sure. But I don't know. I don't know if it's realistic. With this series, this is honestly tougher than I think people are making it out to be. I think that with the Canes and the Bruins, this is a tough call. This is a really, really tough call. Oh, I don't know who to go with here because I have both teams honestly fit the criteria. Both do. Since the trade deadline, let's look at the numbers a bit more. The, they have very similar records. 12-6 and six for the Bruins, 13-6 and six for the Canes. If we look at the other numbers, that being you know the penalty kill. Penalty kill, the Carolina Hurricanes have the edge. Power play, the Canes barely have the edge. 13th for the Canes, 15th for the Bruins. Goals for per game, the Canes have the advantage there. Goals against per game, the Canes have the slight advantage there. Point percentage, the Canes have the advantage there. Shots against per game, the... Canes have the advantage. <sighs> Here's the problem. The problem I have is in the playoffs, the Canes, or not the Canes in particular, Freddie Anderson, if he plays there, is notorious for having meltdowns in the playoffs. And in my mind, the Boston Bruins were a healthy Tukarask away from being in the Potentially even the Stanley Cup, for all we know. For all we know, Tampa doesn't go back-to-back, -back and Boston ends up winning that series against Tampa Bay. In my mind, they were a healthy two Garask away. My issue at the same time with Boston is they did not do enough to add their, at their forward group at the deadline. And breaking up the perfection line has hurt them quite a bit. I don't know. I don't know who to go. I think that this is a tough series personally you know what i'm not gonna be boring i'm gonna go with an upset i'm gonna go with the boston bruins i'm gonna go with the boston bruins this is a tough series to predict this is so tough i'm gonna go with the bruins though i think that the bruins you know they've got to freddie anderson before they're gonna do it again i'm gonna go with the upset i'm going with the boston bruins and now my new york rangers versus the pittsburgh penguins and I'm going to be biased. You're going to say it's biased. But at the same time, the criteria. But I, I, the people coming in the comments, you got me. I, I rigged the numbers so the Rangers could win, of course. Uh, totally not looking at the numbers. I totally just, you know, changed the numbers so the Rangers look better. No, the Rangers do fit the criteria of a team that wins the Cup. They've been great since the deadline. Their goals for per game has been amazing since the trade deadline adding andrew cop and frank vetrano of course the penguins since the deadline their record has been yikes they are below 500 8 and 10 rangers are 12 and 6 and the rangers were actually benching some guys towards the end of the season where the penguins were not because they were fighting to not play the florida panthers so i'm going with the rangers to win the series i don't care if i get called biased on the comments i'm going with it at the end of the day, it is my prediction. With the Panthers and Capitals, I'm going to go with... I'm honestly going with a sweep. I'm honestly going with a sweep. I hate going with sweeps, but I'm doing it. Do I think this has a chance to be a gentleman's sweep? Maybe even six? Yes, but I'm going with a sweep here. Tampa Bay, I think that this is going to be in six games. Uh, not really going to waste too much time there. That's my opinion. Bruins, I think, win this one in seven. And then I have the Rangers winning that series in six against the Penguins. Second round now. Now that we got... It, it's tough. It's still tough. Uh, Avalanche and Blues. Wow, is this tough. This... Both teams fit the criteria. So we're going to have to go with... We're going to have to think outside the box here. Forward group. I think it's more split. Than people might think because the blues in my mind the avalanche of course have the top heavy the, their favorite top heavy with their offense however the blues their depth in the forward group is some of the best in the league 
with the Avs, I'd like to give them the edge on defense. In goal, I'd like to give the edge to Ville Hughes, though. Ah, this is, this is so tough. This is so tough. I'm honestly going to come back to the series. I can't predict it right now. I can't do it. Flames and the Oilers. This one, I'm not going to waste time on. This one, I'm going with the Flames. Like I said, Daryl Sutter behind the bench. He did it with the Kings for so many years. And I've been saying for the longest time that my prediction early is the Flames and Lightning. That could change as I go through here. But I think the Flames are going to win that series uh, pretty handily, too, against the Oilers. I just like their goaltending as well. I like the forward group defensively. Yeah, I like everything. I think the Flames have every sort of advantage against the Oilers here. With that being said, the Lightning and Panthers, the Battle of Florida. I... I'm going with my gut, and I'm going with Tampa. They've been there before. Florida has not won around in decades. I have to do it. I have to go with Tampa. They've been there, done that. I can't go against Vasilevsky. I can't go against that defensive group either. If Ekblad was playing, I think that would maybe change the game a bit. But at the same time, too, hey, I don't know. I, I'm going with Tampa. I'm going with Tampa. I'm doing it. And now the Bruins and the Rangers. I, I'm in a pickle here. I'm in a pickle. Because obviously, you love Igor Shosturkin more than Jeremy Swayman and or Linus Olmark, depending on who starts. Defense? I'd say it's pretty split. Because Fox and McAvoy are kind of the same tier. And then they're all just playing with pretty solid defensemen. Um... Forward-wise, I like the Rangers more in terms of depth because of the additions of Andrew Kopp and Frank Vitrano. The third line, I really like for the Rangers, of course, that being Lafreniere, Hedl, and Kako. The fourth line, I also like, but the Bruins' fourth line at the same time is a pretty solid fourth line. Um, I don't care. I'm going bias. I can't go against Shesterkin. I'm going with the Rangers going to the conference finals. I'm, I'm okay with the biased comments. I don't care. I'm sending the Rangers to the conference finals and beating the Boston Bruins. And now to go back to the tough series. I'm going with St. Louis. I'm going with St. Louis. I'm going with my gut here. That's what I'm going to do. Avs choking in the second round, causing some shake-up to the roster. I'm going with it. Now in the conference finals, the Blues and Flames. This is a very tough prediction here. This is a very tough prediction. I will not lie. Um, I don't know who to go with. I really don't know who to go with. I like Daryl Sutter more than Barube as a coach because we know coaching does have an impact here. I like Markstrom over Huso. Forward group, St. Louis, I'd give the edge. Defense, I'd probably give the edge to St. Louis. And, oh, this is so tough because it's like so even. So even. Since the deadline, let's look at the numbers. 12 and 8 for the Flames, Blues 15 and 6. In terms of other numbers, power, uh, penalty kill, the edge goes to St. Louis. Power play, the edge goes to St. Louis. Goals four per game, the edge goes to St. Louis. Goals against, edge goes to Calgary. Point percentage, Calgary. Shots against per games played. The edge goes to Flames. 
I'm going to go with the hotter team. I'm going with the Blues. I'm going with the Blues. Ah, oh, I don't know if I like that pick, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I've been saying for so long, Calgary and Tampa in the cup. But like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I might, I might change that. I might change that. I don't know. With the Rangers at Tampa Bay Lightning, the bias ends here. I'm going with Tampa. I'm making it quick. Vasilevsky has been there, done that. I don't know how long Igor Shosturkin could go before being tired out. And yeah, I mean, the defense, Tampa obviously gets the edge. Forward group, I'd say it's somewhat even, but I'd give the slight nod to Tampa. And of course, John Cooper is just, he's the best coach in the league. You got to give the edge there over Gallant. As much as I love Gallant, John Cooper is the better coach. So I have Tampa going to the cup. And do I have it against the St. Louis Blues? I... Uh, I think so. Or do I go with what I've been saying and beating like a drum for the longest time? You know what? They say go with your gut. I'm going with the Flames. I'm going to go with the Flames. The 4 rematch. I'm going with the Flames because I've been beating the drum for a while. I think St. Louis could do it, but I, I've been beating the drum for too long to not go with the Flames. And for the winner of the 2022 Stanley Cup Finals, I am going with the Calgary Flames. The Corey Perry curse lives on. I am going with the Flames to beat the Tampa Bay Lightning in the Stanley Cup Finals. The Lightning just are going to get too tired out by the Stanley Cup, considering they've made back-to-back -back runs. And how far could Vasilevsky really go again? I'm going with the Flames. And that this is one of the toughest years to predict, man, because I could easily see Carolina... Going to the cup. I could see Boston going to the cup. I could see Florida going far. Toronto maybe could sneak far. The Avs could go far. The Wild, I don't know. I'm not so sure about them being first round exits. Dallas maybe could pull an upset. Edmonton could maybe pull some upsets. This is probably one of the toughest years to predict. But at the end of the day, I'm going with the Flames. I've been beating the drum for too long to not go with them. Daryl Sutter, I like him too much as a coach. Yeah, I said John Cooper is the best, but you know what? Daryl Sutter is notorious for pulling upsets and uh, breaking my heart in 2014. But that's where I'm going to end things. I'll do the tiebreaker and everything and submit the bracket on my own. But that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, it's my predictions. Don't be mad. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section. So be sure to comment who you have winning each series, winning the cup, whatever you want to do. Give your full predictions. Give some predictions. Do whatever you want. Uh, I'm here to see your responses. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. Turn notifications on, and I will see you in the next one. Let's go, Rangers.